Hi, welcome back. Hope you've been uh, okay with your self-isolation. Just wanted to give you another idea of what you could be doing at home to keep yourself occupied and not bored. Um, so I want to sort of keep with the sort of hidden theme, I think. So we're going to do hidden lemon juice images and messages. I don't know if you can see that. So basically the idea is that we draw um, with or paint with lemon juice. Um, you let it dry and then you use a heat source to actually reveal the image. Okay, so all you need for this is basically some lemon juice. So you might have an actual lemon or you might have uh, one of these uh, Jif lemons from uh, Pancake Day maybe. Um, and a brush and a piece of paper. Uh, any paper will be fine, but we have found that thicker paper is slightly better for, um, for getting the better, darker results. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is get a, like, a little container and just squirt some neat lemon juice in there. Obviously, if you're working from an actual lemon, um, just a squeeze from the lemon would be fine. Um, some people sort of dilute it down with water, but we've sort of found that that actually makes the image a lot paler. So I'm just going to basically go with um, just neat lemon juice for this. Okay, so... I'm going to start creating my image. It's really up to you what you want to create. So you might want to create a picture like I'm doing. Or you might even want to create a little uh, message. Instead. Kind of find yourself now you need to work quite quickly because obviously you know all the while your uh, lemon juice is wet it's slightly easier to see what you're doing but once that dries it becomes more difficult obviously so the, the quicker you can kind of work kind of the better it does also mean that you know, the, the results of what you're going to get are a sort of little unknown in some respects. Okay, so as you're doing your image um, and you're painting that on, do always kind of think about if you're doing a picture, you know, the direction that your marks are traveling in because that's going to help you create some of that three dimensional form. And uh, if you're not doing like a picture, um, then obviously you could be doing a message. You might even want to do, you know, if you've got younger uh, siblings. For example, you might even want to create sort of messages, hidden messages for them. Um, you might even want to create like a little uh, treasure map or something like that and kind of go on a little bit of a treasure hunt, maybe for your Easter eggs or something. Um, that might be quite a nice way of doing this and obviously they will be able to find your message once you do the heat stage which we'll go to next so once you've created your image I know you can't really sort of see much of that maybe you can a little bit if I hold it and the light catches that um, the next stage is literally to just let it dry so it needs to be completely bone dry before you can do the next stage okay so one thing I would say if you're going to be working on thinner paper you do need to make sure that you put something underneath your paper if you're working on sort of nice shiny polished surface because you don't want the lemon juice to go through and remove the uh, varnish at all. Um, we've obviously put this onto a mat um, and we can also see with the thinner paper um, that the paper sort of absorbs the lemon juice a little bit more so it makes it a little bit easier when you're drawing out your design because you can obviously see it uh, quite clearly um, because the paper goes darker where it's wet which you don't really find um, happening so much when you use the thicker paper like I just did uh, for my picture.
Okay, so Amy's just doing a little Easter egg design for her one. Um, anything will work. As I say, it doesn't even have to be a picture. It could just be a written message if you'd rather. Hi, so now our image is completely dry. You can see that actually it just looks pretty much like a sheet of paper. So we're going to need to um, reveal this by heat. So the kind of the best way of doing it is with an iron. But obviously, if you are one of the younger members, um, you need to make sure that you have adult supervision for that. Um, what I tend to do is put it on the highest heat um, that it goes. And I then will cover that with just a bit of uh, paper just initially um, because I just want to make sure that there's no sort of residue wet patches of lemon juice that would obviously um, affect the, the actual iron itself. So I'm just going to sort of start going over the top of that. At the moment you can see sort of nothing has really happened. But now I'm going to actually start to go over. And what we can see... is that the image is now starting to reveal itself as the lemon juice sort of essentially burns and starts to go into a brown colour. Okay, and there essentially, so I realise I've got that upside down, um, there is my bear. Okay. So I'm now going to get Amy to do her one. So again, just using that tissue first of all, just to make sure that uh, we get any kind of wet residue. Just watch your fingers, making sure you're not getting near those with your iron. And then take off the tissue. You can already see her design is starting to come together now. Okay, so you don't want to kind of go over really super quick. You want it to sort of go slowly because you do want the heat um, to work and activate the colour for you. Uh, if you do it too quickly, you're just not kind of getting the heat coming through on there to make it actually work. Okay, now we can see Amy's Easter egg design and my bear design. All right, so have fun with those. And uh, again, it'd be nice to see um, those of you at the school being able to share some of those uh, images that you do manage to create. But just keep smiling and keep happy in your creative tasks. Bye.